It can happen in an instant, a slam on your brakes to prevent a crash. But what's protecting you from the stuff inside your car? Because if you think about that, there's several collisions that happen in the accident, right? We hit something that stops. We keep moving forward until the seatbelt stops us. But anything that's next to us, behind us, in front of us, it will keep going as well. And it will only stop when it hits something. And we don't want that to be us. Anything in the car that's not secured, like a cell phone, a purse or briefcase, even a tissue box, maybe it's in your lap, on the seat next to you, or on the car floor. In a wreck, Tucson Fire Battalion Chief Barrett Baker says those loose items will fly fast and hit you. If we're driving 40 miles an hour and we slam into something, those objects, they're going to keep going 40 miles an hour. When they hit us, they're going 40 miles an hour. Baker says loose items pose the greatest risk in rollover crashes. Unlike all car wrecks, these types of injuries from loose items, he says, are preventable. Just as you secure yourself with a seat belt every time you get in the car, take the time to secure your small items too. Put stuff in the trunk, under the seat, anywhere that item can't become dangerous. If you get hit in the head with a hard object, possible concussion. You know, you might have gotten away injury free from the initial accident or just with some bumps and bruises, but then to think, oh my goodness, now I'm really laid up because of something that if I put it in my pocket, you know, if I would have put it in the glove box, if I would have put it underneath the seat, whatever that little thing would be, it would add up to a big difference with your safety. Natalie Taranjoli, KD9 on your side.